All right. Well, I have no idea whether my camera lost that for this earlier camera part, but uh, so far, you see that vertical engine is tipped on its side. Uh, I've learned all these banjo fittings for the coolant system are the same. They have different O-rings depending on whether, uh, let's see, these green ones are for the cylinder jacket, and then the smaller ones go on the rest of the system. Uh, the pump has two rattle valves, uh, but doesn't have any springs in it to keep them uh, in place. So it's just relying on uh, gravity for those. Um, the radiator is actually fastened with a bolt uh, that goes down through the base here and sticks into the bottom and that's where the uh, um, ignition system was grounded. I think what I'm going to do is uh, get a pair of pliers to work that out because I can't get it the head. Uh, the head is in behind the radiator, very low clearance, and I don't have a right angle profile and allen wrench of the right side, um, or a very long ball of one, so I'm probably going to try to work it out carefully, uh, see if I can get something in there, and then I'm going to reground uh, re it in a different location, because the ground lead under the box is pretty long, so I'm just going to pull that out to the bottom. Ground it with one of the anchoring stuff that I um, Another note is that horizontal engine, I filled it up to let it run and let it through a or I filled it up to 1017 and it's been running ever since now almost 11 o'clock. So. the radiator out and then put the engine back up on its stand and reground the ignition. Um, and then my plan is to, when I get the radiator remounted, I'll just trim all these fittings off uh, and 